everyone. Um, today we have uh, an interesting topic um, that a lot of people don't really consider or think about uh, most of the time, but it's about uh, becoming so good in your trade or industry that the big players, the big people who pay you a lot of money can't ignore you. And it's not um, often thought about this directly, where they, where others see you and know that you are a very skilled person, very valuable, and they can't let you go. They have to keep you on payroll, they have to keep you in employment, because you're a good employee, you're an exceptional employee, and you have two skills that are too good to let go in any capacity or in any way that they can fathom, and you are one of the better people, even in business or whatever, that uh, has to stay on, and they just can't let you go. But um, several spirits, um, I've used several spirits for this, um, not just these ones, but uh, several others, and um, I use it for business. Um, when I need clients to just know that I'm the best person and I don't want to fix up their mistakes later when they go to other people. Um, this is for little actual like business stuff, copywriting, marketing services, and writing, or whatever else uh, was needed. And um, I learned this early on, uh, years ago, that this is incredibly valuable because people just don't see how valuable you are and how skilled you are until they go to a lesser quality option or lesser... lesser um, just a lower quality everything, um, person, service, whatever, and then they realize that they can't go back to you because you're too busy, you just have too many clients, and that just happens sometimes. And some people think that that's too uh, abstract or like it doesn't even make sense that that can even happen. Well, it does happen, and there's a lot of businesses, you know, with go to a food place where there's uh, too many people out the front door and you just don't want to stay in line. It's, the food is that good, the service is that good that they have so many clients just pouring out of the door. Or the phone is ringing off the hook because people want whatever mechanic, um, any business that can provide a service, product, or service. This can apply to, and this can apply to uh, employees as well, where they have skills that are too valuable to let go of. And um, the first angel here for spirit is uh, Yaizel, um, who can give you the ideas, the uh, knowledge of what skills that you can sort of boost within yourself so that you are valuable in your career industry, whatever, job, business, doesn't matter, and you're always relevant and more than relevant. You can um, sort of, also this angel can connect you with other people, like people who can recognize how valuable you are, and it's not a question at that point who you are and what you can bring to the table as far as your talents and how you can make the company better, especially if you're an employee who cares about making the company better, giving the customers a long-term better experience. These spirits are just explosion, just firecracker, just a phenomenal way to bring you to the next level for all the right reasons, that you want to give a better quality customer service, you know, experience, whatever, better product, better service, and a lot of employers want these traits in their employees, period. So that's the IESL to bring you, to, you know, in connection with those who can, um, these are social connection, by the way, people who you meet. Uh, Pollux, the Greek spirit, can bring you um, a pretty much the same thing, but allows you to be seen in the best possible way to people in your industry so that you aren't taken for granted or you can't, um, you know, people don't step all over you um, and that uh, people just see you as valuable at all times so that you are never seen as lowly or undervalued. Um, Nelakel, the angel, um, can increase and develop your understanding of what is needed in your job and career um, so you're always ahead of the game. It doesn't matter uh, how much ahead of the game you are, you're just ahead of the game of other competitors ahead of under other employees, businesses, whatever, with no worries really about being undervalued or obsolete ever because your skills are so in demand. And then the final spirit, Sekhmet, the Egyptian spirit, can uh, allow you to, um, she, as I see her, it's a woman, um, grants you the uh, long-term vision so that you can see and understand how to become sort of the best of who you are and your skills over time, long-term. And this is a very powerful way to develop yourself um, over the years, over the months, um, etc., so that you are always seen as like an invaluable person in your um, industry, workplace, business career, whatever. Even if you have business partners, it's the same thing, and uh, invaluable to your customers too. This applies to everybody. So um, this is just a very unique angle to take on um, workplace management, uh, being an employee, being a manager, being a uh, district manager. Doesn't matter. Any position can benefit from this where we'll see you in the best light and you are the best of yourself that you can possibly be. 
that's really, really important going forward where you know, recession hits and you are still hanging around and working your ass off because you know you're the best at what you do and that we can touch you. Um, but th this is what I've used to get ahead in my businesses and um, it works. Just trust me that it works a thousand percent and these spirits plus others can help you. But um, if you want to learn more about these spirits and what they can do for you, uh, please check out the links below. Thank you.